morning everybody um it is friday morning happy friday to those who are working <laughs> happy uh weekend eve as you may um uh, hi so i'm starting my day and uh, in a different manner than looking for work which i should be doing but my um oh first of all hi guys <laughs> um Welcome back subscribers and welcome to my channel if you are new and thank you so much for choosing this to watch. Um, normally I'm at home and filming but I have to do something this morning so I thought I'd just catch up with y'all while I was driving along. Um, I'm paying attention to the road and not looking at the camera so pardon me for that. But um, I just want to also thank you so much for hitting that thumbs up like a button that's right below my video that helps me so much in the YouTube world and uh, or universe, whatever it is. And um, for subscribing, please subscribe if you haven't already. I see that a lot of people watch, uh, but they haven't subscribed yet. So please do that. It, it, that helps me out. It helps you out. If you hit the notification bell, you can see, you know, when I post something. So that's awesome. And thanks to every one of you that has um, used my Timu Fishland and Farmland codes. It's awesome to get more friends on there and uh, get a little more water and a little more fish food. So yeah, that's awesome. Now you can win. I have won, well, I will only attest to Fishland because I've won twice on Fishland. And I think the secret to it is when you first start a game, any of those extra little games within a game that they have, play those as much as possible because they go away. So build up your, you know, your bank of fish food and then get friends. So you don't have to invite new users. I mean, if you do, awesome. I don't do that personally. Um, I don't even know if there are any new users to Demo anymore. But if you are new to Demo, there is a code, uh, a link below. Please use that. It gives me $5 and it gives you 50% off of your first order if you order within, I don't know, a couple hours or an hour, whatever it is of using my link. Oh, I made it too hot in here. It is actually 68 this morning. Amazing for DFW. Uh, and if you are a Timu user already, uh, there's also a code down below of mine, an affiliate code, and it will um, get you uh, a coupon bundle. So please use those. And uh, any way we can save money, it's freaking awesome. Um, anyway, uh, is that all I wanted to say to you? Did I cover all of the essentials? Bella's not with me. Bella's at home guarding the house. Um, the floor is still in wet. Um, now it's starting to have a little smell to it, which is not good. So um, I think I will buy some, uh, well, first I'm going to try and get more of the water up. And then once that's gone, I mean, it's a lot drier, but it's still wet. Uh, so I think it's still seeping in from like under my TV stand and my entryway stand, things that are too heavy for me to move, which just, it's a bummer. So I'm either going to have to figure out how to move those and try and get that water out or, and or, um, go get some carpet shampoo to put in the, uh, carpet shampooer machine I've been using to suck up the water and then maybe that'll freshen it up. Fingers crossed. Any advice, let me know. Uh, other than hiring somebody because I can't do that, but so that's that scoop. And um, I think that's all of my updates. But yeah, so subscribe, like, share, um, whatever, whatever you need to do. And um, help In me out. Mile, turn right onto Farm to Market Road 549. Thank you, I shall. Uh, it's my GPS. Uh, but um, yeah, anything you can do to help me in the YouTube universe, awesome. Um, I'm over 400 subscribers, which yeah, blows my mind. I'm trying to get to 500 and we'll see how we do with that. I need your help on that. And just by subscribing, that's all you gotta do. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It's awesome. Um, and- uh, Take the next right onto Farm yes, to Market Road 549. She's so bossy. But uh, I know the way there, it's, I'm, but I always put the GPS on just in case there's some kind of traffic or accident or some kind of issue that I, the GPS can alert me to and maybe send me a, a different mile, route. Turn left onto Farm to Market Road 740 South, Bois d'Arc. 
Yes, ma'am. I love how they pronounce, the GPS pronounces some of the street names. You're like, mm, that's not how it's pronounced, but that's kind of cute. So, um, okay. So, why am I in my car this early in the morning? Am I going shopping? No, I wish. Um, but uh, my dad called me. He actually called me a couple times yesterday, but I had the phone off. Not off, but the sound off. Um, I normally hear it through my watch, but I had the watch had died and was on the charger. School zone, it's that time of year. I shouldn't be on a phone, so yeah. Do, 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 do. It says cell phone use prohibited. It doesn't say filming use prohibited. But I don't want to seem like I'm talking on the phone, so just a minute. Do, 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 do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm almost at the end. I feel bad. I need to go over there. Thank you. We're all there, we're all there. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, so I didn't hear the phone. And then late at Turn night. Turn left on the farm to Market Road 740 South, Guadiar. Yes, ma'am. Later at that night, I think about 8.30, 9 o'clock last night, he called and I saw it this time. And he's like. Continue for seven um, miles. His car, remember I told you my sister-in-law, I think I told you. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, they live with my brother and sister-in-law, who I'm separated from, but um, they have a two-car garage, which is full of crap, so they park their two cars on the, in the driveway, and then my dad has to park on the street. Well, they told him he's not allowed, and they, I mean my brother and sister-in-law, he's not allowed to park on the street at the end of their driveway, not blocking their driveway, but across the street, you know, from their driveway, which of course is totally legal and anyone can park there and their neighbors can park there, whatever. So the neighbor um, had an extra parking spot in their driveway, it's just uh, one person living there. So she said to my dad, you can park your truck in my driveway because I'm not using it and it'll look like there's more than one person living here so it'll help me out safety wise so yeah park here so he did that well one day she had company over and he couldn't park there so he parked on the street and the only spot open was across the street from their driveway so when my sister-in-law left to take the kids to school the next morning don't quite know how because the street is very wide but she backed on into my dad's truck and smashed um, the driver's side passenger door of his truck which is new to him it's a you know a used car but it's new to him and he he searched forever online for it and got exactly what he wanted and he was just so heartbroken um, and then my brother blamed him and said I told you not to park there so it's your fault which just yeah uh, anyway, um, they finally agreed that, that her insurance would pay for it, at least as far as they're telling me. So he's got the car in the shop right now, finally getting fixed. And he's got a little tiny rental car, I guess. And he called me and said, your mom's scared to drive that car to my doctor's appointment. Could you please drive us? And I was like, of course. So that's where I'm headed. I'm headed to their house to pick them up to drive him in. He has, um... I have glaucoma, which, if you don't know, ne'er can, hopefully never, but can uh, cause blindness, and it causes blindness from the outside in, so you lose your peripheral all the way to the front, right? While he has uh, macular degeneration, which is the opposite, so it can cause blindness also, but it does it from like a pinpoint in the middle center of your vision and then expands outward. So it's the exact opposite kind of uh, condition. So, I mean, the condition isn't, but the, the effects um, are opposites. So anyway, so he goes in for shots. They actually give him shots in his eye. And I know that sounds gross, and that, but your eye really doesn't feel it. And they also give you these um, numbing drops and then he gets his shot, but it affects his vision after he's done. So he can't drive back home. So thus he needs me. So I'm going to go there and then hopefully maybe I can talk my mom again into getting an appointment with her doctor 
or telling me the doctor's name or whatever we got to do. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And um, yeah, and I'm sure they'll, they'll want to go for breakfast afterwards because he always does. Remember the hat I got him, where's the food? So, so yeah, and so yeah, I'll get home around probably, I don't know, noon or so, but um, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I'm lucky enough to have them around to be able to do these things. So I do know that I do not take that for granted and uh, yeah, I'm appreciative of every day that I have with them. So, so that's where I'm going. So, um, yeah. And I noticed that I stopped saying, um, and now I say so all the time. I'm incredibly annoying how we have these little vocal habits we fall into. I guess it's that unconscious desire to fill the silence. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, it's why I got my TV on all the time. I have to fill that silence. Now I am a, I do have three siblings and we did grow up in this tiny little 1200 square foot house that was three bedrooms a kitchen a bath and one bathroom uh, I was the oldest but yeah there's so six of us lived in that little tiny house so I am used to noise <laughs> I am used to sound so um, and that's never gone away you know and then I had my two kids and you know kids are noisy and, and yeah we're just sound I like sound uh, my son does the same thing, so it just keeps continuing through the family, <laughs> but I don't really do much in silence. I should start the, oh, that's my dad calling. Hold on. All right. He's asking where I am, even though I am scheduled to get there at 757 and he told me to get there at eight. <laughs> so I told him I'm almost there and I'm sure they'll be waiting outside for me. So I'm going to let you go. Um, and drive more because I know there's a school zone coming up and I, I want to be off of here by then. So I will talk to you all later. Hope you have an amazing day. And again, thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye guys. Hey, well, I'm finally done taking um, my dad to his doctor's appointment. So he got his shots. Something about the medication they use on him. Um, his doctor was like, the government like came in and said they didn't check some box on their manufacturing of their latest batch of this medication, which remember prevents blindness. Um, but so they shut down the company for a bit, made them throw out all their stuff and re uh, manufacture it. So he said it was nothing that would have changed the medication or anything. It was just some governmental thing. So, um, he could, didn't have the medicine for my dad, but he made him fill out these forms from this grant company. And, um, they said, oh, I'm going to start my car. It's a little hot out. And they said, um, they could get help some of the people, uh, with their grant to afford the name brand of this medication. And the name I said, oh, name brand then it's probably a little pricier right and the doctor said yeah I think $1,700 per shot is a bit more expensive <laughs> what is wrong with this country when it comes to medications just blows my mind um, but anyway yeah so luckily um, my dad's insurance, um, they called his insurance, um, and they, some form of Medicare or whatever extra thing he has. I haven't learned it all yet. I, do, I have, have some more years left to learn it all, but, um, they said okay to it. So luckily he was able to get the medication. And I said, what if the grant didn't cover it or the insurance didn't cover it? And he said, I'm having to tell people they cannot get their shot. And so they are risking going blind until the new batch is made crazy crazy anyway i dropped that well of course he had to go to breakfast i told you where's the food um so we went to denny's had a little breakfast and talk 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 and um then i decided for lunch later a little later i wanted my favorite hot dog place from chicago which is called portillo's and they are here in a little town called allen not so little but a town called allen which is north of me about 40 minutes and I thought what the heck I got nothing to do except go home and 
continue doing my rug. Um, so, oh my goodness, there's a Goodwill right there. I might stop right there. <laughs> Just noticed it, sorry. But anyway, while I was out here before I did that, I thought I'd check more Dollar Trees. Because remember, I wanted that pillbox for my parents. So Alan came through. Um, I go in my bag. So this is what I was looking for. It's a plastic container and it opens sideways on the little doors and then each of these are little round containers. So half of it is, is morning, half is night, or I use it like, you know, Monday of this week and Monday of next week. So I get 14 days out of it because I don't, I only have vitamins and stuff. But for my parents, they do have morning and evening pills and they thought they really liked the one I had. Um, these little individual circles come out so you can just take it with you if you're going out for the day and you're going to be out at your pill time. Uh, they take it at 10 in the morning and 10 at night. So if they happen to be out, they could just take one little tiny circle with them and get their medication. So I, huh, this is like the fourth Dollar Tree I've gone to, but yay, I found two and there was only one more on the shelf. So I got the last two. So I was excited. And then while I was in there, I got Bella a little treat bar. So I got that. And then I am um, almost out of laundry detergent and I didn't want to spend a fortune on it right now. So I went cheap with Dollar Tree. Um, I was going to get their little Tide, which I like, but it was a little container like this. It said does six loads for $1.25. And then I saw this other one um, that does 48 loads and it was in their bonus section for three dollars so yeah I get 48 instead of you know if I had bought three of the other ones I would only got 18 something loads so yeah that's a better deal for now and then I can go back to my normal stuff when I have the money for it um but what else I did buy something else it's very loud in the bag oh my rug it's still wet this morning and it smells a little bit so I thought I need to clean it so I found this um, it's just awesome oxygen base cleaner it says it does work in a carpet cleaning machine you just mix it a scoop with a gallon of water and pour it into your um, shampoo or thing so hopefully I'm gonna try that um, but yeah so Unless you know something, well, you won't see this before I try it, hopefully. But I'm hoping it doesn't do anything bad. But yeah, I need I need to get the smell better um, on that. And I asked my parents if they had their old, um, uh, what is it called? Shop back, which used to be in my old house because I had a garage and everything. Um, and so I always knew where it was for them. Uh, now they have no idea if one of my brothers took it or if it's in their little storage shed or whatever. So, yeah. Um, but I did find this. Um, it's this blue belt. I like belts like this because no matter if you lose weight or gain weight, we don't want the second of that. But if we lose weight, uh, you just keep moving it down and down. So you get a lot more use out of these belts than one that just has maybe that many, you know, holes in it. It's got the little double closure there but look at this it is a no boundaries brand name um a dollar 25 of course a dollar tree but look what it sold for at the regular store so eight dollars so i got an eight dollar belt for a dollar 25 and even the checkout ladies was like i didn't know we were selling those that's a great deal well you better hurry there's nothing many left um and then i got just a little bag of croutons uh, like I told you, I made chili, so I thought I'd just add a couple, not a lot, just a couple to it, just to get that crunch, you know, that I desire. Um, I got a little energy thing, snacks, because I'm hungry, I don't, shouldn't be, but I am. And then I found these, I saw, I don't remember who hauled them, uh, but I saw somebody haul these, and I was like, I'll never find them, but I did. Um, this Maybelline, it's actually Maybelline Fast Gel Nail Polish. I got it in this one, which is, do they name these? I don't see a name on it. It's called Lasting Wear High Shine Fast Drying. But yeah, I don't see like a color. Oh, I do. Mauve Macaron. So that's Mauve Macaron, if I'm saying that right. I've eaten them in France, 
but I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> and then I got this one, which is Peach Sunrise. That's pretty. And lastly, I got this one, which is Mellow Mint. It's that blue oceany color that I like. So yeah. So I got those. Yes, I splurged a little, but you know, it's a dollar twenty-five each. It's not a big splurge. Oh, one more thing. I got this. Um, these stick on. They're self-adhesive wall tiles, and they're great for kitchens, bathrooms, or peel and stick. They're twelve inches by twelve inches. Um, but see down here, they used it as. Let's see if you're seeing what I'm seeing. A backsplash. And I want to try it. I wanted to do an actual tile tile backsplash and do it myself. Backsplash and do it myself. Um, finances are preventing that at the moment, but I thought maybe this would brighten up my life a little cheaply. I don't have that much um, wall space between, you know, I have a tiny, tiny kitchen and so there's not that much wall space. So it wouldn't take many of these to do. I could probably do it for under $10 easily is my stove over there yeah easily um, and you can cut these and everything I watched um, a youtuber what's her Vivian tries if you've ever if you haven't watched her go watch her she is so funny uh, she's so good at it she's so professional like and um, she just tries items so she'll go to Dollar Tree and she'll buy some items and try it for you and then tell you if they work or not and she has some some crazy uh, ways of telling if something works on certain things and I mean she actually does like moisturizers and she has a little machine that tells her how the percentage of moisture and th she's crazy I love her she's hysterical so go watch her Vivian tries but anyway she used these I watched her uh, video um, best items of 2023 something like that it's like an hour long more than an hour I think video of all the items she's tried in 2023 and like me you'll see her with long hair and then she cut her hair short too so you'll see the difference of the timing of her because she takes snippets of all of her uh, videos during the year and puts them together in a collaboration of you know the best items of 2023 and this was one of them uh, she cut it easily with scissors to fit she put it on something she pulled it back off it didn't damage the wall so I thought I'll try it I only bought one because I'm trying it so if I don't like it or whatever I'm not gonna waste money on it I'll try one if it's perfect and I love it I'll go find more um, they're pretty easy to find anyway if you've used it let me know but now I think I might should I go to Goodwill do I have money no do I have needs probably not do I want to go there yeah I'm gonna resist I'm gonna resist thank you all. I'm gonna resist but I'm not gonna resist Portillo's. I'm debating a Chicago hot dog or a Chicago Italian beef, but it will be one of those. So I am headed there now. You saw them in a previous video when my parents took me there. So don't tell them I'm going without them. It was a spur of the moment decision, but I'm doing it. Yes, I'm wasting money. Yes, I have food at home, but I'm longing for some, some childhood food. And I'm gonna go get it because every once in a while you gotta say dang the torpedoes I'm treating myself to something and uh, yeah I'm doing it so <laughs> don't comment meanly about it I know it's wrong I don't care I'm doing it um, I'm the only one suffering the consequences right so whatever anyway I'm going there now it's already in the GPS right here and uh, let's go I just wanted to show you that I found the pill the pill containers I'm so excited and um, I asked them when I dropped them off if they wanted to see a movie or something this weekend or I know that the Texas State Fair has started so I didn't know if they wanted to do that or if it was still too hot for them or walking whatever um, I have some coupons at home for it but uh, they said they wanted to do something so when I see them tomorrow I got to give them back one cord charging cord I still had of theirs I accidentally packed it in my stuff and then give them their pill cases so hopefully they'll remember they wanted them <laughs> they will like them but either way I know they wanted them I know it will help them if they use them so hopefully um, and I did oh I'm sorry I, I just I got a brain freeze of, of thought here um, I can't remember who commented this but about the uh, MCT oil 
um, for that it's involved in studies. If you read my comments, you saw somebody said that it's been involved in studies on early Alzheimer's and on the, oh my goodness, what did she call it? Long, long haulers? She was diagnosed with long haulers or something like that. It's the effect that people that have had COVID a couple times can get. And it's like a intense or mild, depending, brain fog thing where their brains are just not working right. Um, that's how she described it. And that's what my mom's describing. And she has had, like I said, COVID multiple times. Luckily, knock on wood, I have not yet uh, had it at all. But um, I hope I don't because these lasting effects to it just blow my mind. I mean, if it was just like the flu, whatever. But I don't want long lasting effects. Um, and it's just me, so there's nobody to take care of me. But anyway, whiny, whiny, little tiny violin, wah, wah, wah. Uh, anyway, so she said that there have been studies done in this MCT oil um, that people have been taking, and it's been helping them. It's helped um, um, her mom. Um, it's helped her. So I told my mom. I wrote it down on the receipt from Denny's. And I made sure my dad had it in his pocket and I said go to Amazon find out about it if you have any issues whatsoever let me know I will order it for you um, but I said it shouldn't be horrendously expensive I use MCT oil and collagen in a powder form it's called bean envy I believe um, and I use it in caramel flavor and I put it in my coffee and just because I heard great things about it but I think that her what what my subscriber was talking about was that it's just more refined just mct oil and she said she took like a teaspoon and worked her way up to a tablespoon a day so i'm thinking i haven't researched to get them at home yet but um i think this might be like a liquid form so i did ask her to comment back again and tell me exactly how she ingests it uh, so hopefully there'll be an answer uh, when she gets a chance to do that so i can research it a little more but I told my mom, if there's even this this much of a chance of it helping her, let's do it. Uh, I also pushed her on making her appointment for her doctor or getting me that information so we can go and visit her doctor and see if there's anything they can do for her. She's agreeable at the moment, okay? Um, but I do know that at least here, uh, getting a doctor's appointment is ridiculous. Uh, I tried to get one and it was three months out. So it's not something we're going to quickly be able to do. So if she can at least start on this MCT oil, it's not going to hurt her. Uh, and if it helps her, hallelujah. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. I told you I read the comments. I told you that um, I value them greatly. And I told you that they help inform me. So that's awesome. This guy's looking at me like I'm crazy, just talking to myself. But it's okay. Crazy's fun. Um, and I'm wearing my You Are Enough to the Person Behind Me t-shirt. So I hope I've helped somebody unknowingly today, which is great. Hi, sir. Uh, but okay I don't know what it just did it just said multi I hope I didn't like flash you up my nose or something right there but anyway I'm gonna let you go before my phone goes crazy here and um, yeah thank you thank you for your comments they are appreciated they are read and the advice is taken so thank you um, you guys are a valuable source of information to me and I greatly appreciate it okay so we'll probably talk again before I end this video and publish it so I'll see you later I'm going Hot dog, Italian beef, hot dog, Italian beef, hot dog, Italian beef. I don't know. Hey guys. Well, I'm headed home slowly in amazing traffic. Uh, that's always here on the bridge into my town because they're adding new lanes on that side, new lanes on that side, across the water of the lake. So it just causes immense traffic. But I'm happy anyway because I got my Portillo's. So it smells amazing. Um, and I just can't wait to get home and eat lunch. It's like 2.41 already. I probably won't get home till after three in this traffic, but it's worth the wait. And um, yeah, so I even asked the, the guy that was, it's neat when you go through the drive through there, it's kind of like Chick-fil-A in a way because they have um, the workers standing there at, in the drive through and they take your order and you can pay them right there. And then as you're driving up, 
to the window, there's actually a guy standing out there and their drive up window is weird. It's like a window, but there's also a door in the middle of the window so they can use it as a door or a window. And um, so he was going in and out of the door checking on my packages to make sure, you know, my package to make sure my food was getting done because the two cars behind me were done first, which was weird. But anyway, I was talking to him, of course, and um, he was saying that, you know, oh, it's so cool. We have Portillo's. And I said, okay, let me hear honestly. I'm a Chicago girl. So had it since, you know, this high. Um, so what do you as a born Texan think of the Chicago type of food. I'm just curious. And he said, I was really doubtful. And then people kept saying Italian beef and I didn't know what that meant, which I find true. Nobody here knows what that means. Um, and then he, and then he said, well, um, then they showed it to me and I was like, Ooh, that looks kind of weird. And he said, but then I tasted it and oh, wham, that is amazing. And I was just like, wow. Oh. He's like, yeah, you got to dip it and you got to put the sweet peppers on there. And I was like, okay, all right, you, you can make it in Chicago. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I was very excited about it. And um, he said he liked all the food. And then I said, one thing they do in Chicago is we they sell a specific brand of uh, tamales. And I can't remember the brand name, but they sell them at Portillo's there, but they only do it in Illinois. None of the other ones, Arizona, Florida, here, none of them sell those. And I said, you know, I missed that. He's like, well, why are they different? I said, they're just completely different than Mexican or Tex-Mex or Texas um, tamales. So he's like, I gotta check into that. And I said, yeah, I have a brother in Florida that orders them all the time for my mom orders them from Portillo's and they ship them to my mom because that's her favorite thing there. She's not that a big of a meat eater, but she loves the tamales. So he's like, oh, I can order them? I'm like, yeah, you sure can. I'm going to do that tonight. So anyway, very fun little crowd there. Um, yeah. And the, when I first pulled up to the drive-thru, the girl said, have you ever eaten at Portillo's? And I said, sweetheart, I lived there my whole life. Yes, I've eaten there. She's like, oh, that's so cool. So yeah, it was interesting. And then when I told her, she asked where I lived. And I told her, and she said, that is just so weird because somebody just, just drove through here, said the same town that you live in and said, you know, you really got to build one there. We really need one there. And I said, yes, I will second that opinion. So it was kind of funny. Anyway, I'm almost home. Um, I didn't go to Goodwill. I was a good girl. I did order the beef sandwich and um, the onion rings. Mm, yummy. Um, so yeah, and I ordered... Um, what dipped is, they dip it in the sauce, so it's just, you know, really juicy when you eat the Italian beefs. I didn't want to do that because I didn't want it to be mush by the time I got home, so I asked, and you can ask for the juice on the side. So, I have, they call it gravy, but it's, it's au jus. Um, so, that's in the bag too. So, as soon as I get home, I'll have to walk Miss Bella, because she'll want to be walked. How dare she? <laughs> but, um, so, I'll, I'll just take her out to go potty. And then I'm gonna come in, get my water ready, and get my portillos on. So I uh, will probably talk to you later. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but I gotta go now. Bye. You build one. You not this, one, the, the Eddie play. <laughs> yeah. And I'm nailing details on this that no one has ever gotten before. There's a little screw in the back that no one has ever caught. It's actually the pickup screw, which is like a quarter of an inch too long that they drilled through at the Kramer factory. No one's ever found that out before. And, and just endless little details. And then I, I sit with an X-Acto knife. And Caution, little... road with restricted access. <sighs> dots. And I take an X-Acto knife and I chip, 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 chip away for hours. And then the final product, is the great, by the way, go. Uh, it was by, the <laughs> yeah, by Matt, you don't want to hear it? By uh, the way, uh, uh, Steve's replica of that guitar is selling for $3. Uh, $3. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, once you, I know you're a newlywed, but once you have kids, your wife is not going to tolerate this. I'm telling oh, yeah, you. That room it's is going to disappear with all those yeah. guitars hanging in it. <laughs> it's going to be the baby's room. You know that. It's already hard to find time for, for the guitars. So. Yeah. <laughs> Right, my man? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, there's, there's none of that shit. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Your hobbies go out the window. Uh, 
that's too much. Anyway, there's the report on Eddie Van Halen. Kind. Go ahead, Steve. Leave us with a little number. Go ahead. Hey guys, good morning. It's Saturday. There's a fisherman out there. It's cold. <laughs> um, I didn't know I would be saying that this early in the year, but well, early for us Texans. There's a white bird out there. You can see him. There's Bella. But uh, a lot of new smells out here after the rain. Um, anyway, it's Saturday morning, so happy Saturday morning. Um, or whenever you're watching this, of course. But, uh, oh my goodness, chilly. Can you hear the wind? It's chilly. It is, uh, like I said, Saturday morning. We got up a little late. I lounged in bed. And I was texting with my son, who's kind of bummed because he was interested in a girl. And you know how that all goes. They were texting and texting and meeting and... All of a sudden, she stopped texting. So, you know, it's kind of like my job search. You know, ooh, they look at your, they look at your. Um, come on, boo, come on, boo. They look at your resume, and you think everything's cool, and then you see they looked at it again, and you're like, yeah. Oh man, look at that ant hill. That is a Texas red ant hill that comes up uh, high like that after it rains. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so they look at your resume, and then you get a notice, they looked at it again, and they even look at it a third time, and you're like, this is going to be a go, and then you get the Dear John letter that they've gone a different direction, so yeah, kind of like the dating thing, Bella's too excited for sniffing stuff, and she's pausing, that's why I keep stalling here, but yeah, so him and I are going through kind of the same thing in different ways. Miss Bell, we're going this way, sweetheart. Come on. And uh, so, kind of bummed about that. And when his uh, ex-wife had left him, hi, bird, a blue heron, I have been told. That is what that is. So thank you. Uh, but anyway, when she left him, they were in the middle, well, actually at the end of purchasing a home. Uh, they lived in... Well, he lives in Knoxville, and they were purchasing a home in Pennsylvania that he just adored in this little, quiet, you know, old-fashioned town that in the mountains. That's his dream, right? And he thought it was hers. And then she didn't say anything through the whole process. And the day she sat down to sign the final closing paperwork is when she said, Yeah, I don't really want to move. And by the way... Uh, I want a divorce. So, yeah. Um, so then she left, and immediately uh, her world fell apart because she lost her job, and she didn't really have anywhere to go, and of course this was all her choice. But, uh, and then she gave away the dog that they had adopted that he adored instead of giving it to him. So he's been through a lot of crap. Um, I'm not saying he's harmless in the whole thing. Of course not. It takes two. But the way it was done on her part was just, yeah. Um, so anyway, he told me today that he's added up all the costs of losing that house because they, you know, had to say no on the day they were supposed to be closing. So there were costs to that. And then getting out of the people who bought his house, getting out of that deal and everything. He, uh, morning. <laughs> he, come on, Bill. He lost about, at this point in time, $16,000. And she's paid none of that. So, yeah, he's been through the ringer. So, this dating thing on top of it all is hard on him, too. And me with the, the work and my mom and worrying about my kids and no job and <laughs> the flood in my house and smelling. Uh, yeah, we're having fun, too. <laughs> so, anyway, but life is good. So that's why I stalled this morning getting up. It's kind of like, I don't want to walk. I just don't want to walk. 
And then I said, the hell with it, girl. Get your butt up. I said a different word. But get your butt up. Get out there. Take your, your precious pup out for a walk. Enjoy the time we have together. Let's see, did the rain help at all? Well, I guess a little. But it's got a long way to go. I mean, you know, think about it. Even if it rained a foot of waters, which it didn't, I wouldn't think. Uh, but if it did, it's still got a long way to go up to those cliffs to get the, the lake back to normal. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so we got up. It's 10 o'clock, which is really late for us to be walking. But uh, what the hell. And um, so I'm going to do this. Go home. Shampoo the carpet. Yuck. Um, and then later... Oh, that wind is cold. That's 57 off the lake. Woo! Um, or maybe it's, that's what my, my phone said anyway. That it was here. So... Um, go with carpet. What else? Paint my nails because they're nasty. Morning. And uh, then... Come on, baby. Let's go this way. Bells. Bells. Come on. And... Uh, then, like I said, my mom and dad were like either wanting to go to a movie later, probably the movie. I don't think they want to go too late to the fair. So, uh, of course, it is a nice cold day that my mom would love. Except now she can play as too cold, <laughs> right? Hard to find that perfect temperature. But anyway, so I'm gonna let you go. We're gonna finish our walk. Miss Bella is so excited, as she always is. It's hard to tell how old she is, isn't it? But yeah. She's an old lady. We're two old ladies. She's walking out in the water. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll talk to you later. Oh, of course. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, I was chewing. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, it's Bella and Deb, and um, I look terrible because I wanted to try this out. This is what I got from Dollar Tree. It's the Miss Spa, part of the nails, um, glycolic acid exfoliating sheet mask so i am free of makeup i went for my walk this morning washed my face played fishland and farmland um and now i'm going to do this and then i'm going to eat my lunch and then i'm going to shampoo the carpet uh, um, anyway so i just wanted to try this mask out and let you see kind of how it goes i've never used one of these sheet ones i've only used the kind that are like um a lotion or whatever that you just put on and then you either peel off or wash off so this will be interesting so it says unfold the mask place it on clean dry skin press the edges and pat the mask until it fully adheres to your face turn off your phone close your eyes for 20 minutes and then remove the mask gently pat the remaining serum into the skin wipe away any excess excess so Let's try this. We'll see if this bothers my skin or is good for my skin. Oh, thank goodness for makeup, right? In case it does mess me up a bit. So it comes out this little square. It's very, very, you can see the liquid and the gel and whatever's on there. It's very moist, very wet. Okay, so we're going. Bella, do you want a mask? Do you want a mask? you want a mask on? No? You're good? Okay. You're so pretty. You don't need nothing. Some people pet her today when we were on our walk. We went by the coffee shop and uh, there were people sitting outside drinking coffee. This is like dripping while I'm trying to unfold it. Uh, drinking coffee and they were like, oh, she's so pretty. And Can we pet her? And I said, oh, please pet her. So <laughs> they pet her and uh, she was a happy little camper. So they pet her for a while, which was nice. They were talking to me. Oh my goodness, this is just, yeah, this is hard to do. Okay, come on, baby. I don't want to rip it. I don't know how delicate it is. Okay, so there's your little mask. I'm going to look like some horror flick, but whatever. Looks like the call is coming from inside the house. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry. Uh, all right. Yeah, this, this is creepy. So I'm going to put it on. I'm going to pause y'all. I'm going to go do my 20 minutes. Take it off. Well, I'll come back to you all and take it off and we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Yikes.
this oh my gosh this is cold okay cold 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 okay i think i gotta go this way more it's in my eye okay and it's in my hair but it's okay because i gotta shower and wash my hair anyway oh yeah i am creepy that's a frill right i don't i don't know about this one okay whatever it's just so weird and it's so cold okay all right pat it in it's said. pat it on oh this is creepy let's see what bella thinks of this in a minute okay all right we did it we're in what do you think what do you think you don't care yeah she ain't bothered by nothing. She's been around the world. She's a knowledgeable girl. All right, let's see what this does. Let's see how it feels. Ah, I feel like I'm Jason or something. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. I can't smile. So, let me go relax for 20 minutes. Let me set a timer. I'll do it on my phone. And then uh, I'll see you later, alligator. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. It's a little stiff, <laughs> but um, it feels fine. There's no burning or anything on it. So I was just like laying back, relaxing on the couch, listening to some old game show on TV. So that was cool. So now we're going to take it off. Ah. You would have to put a headband or something on to keep it out of your hair. Like I said, I'm going to shower, so I didn't really care. So there it goes. Yuck. There's still stuff on my face, so you just kind of pat it. What did it say? Remove man, gently pat remaining into your skin, wipe away any excess. And then it says, Hello, gorgeous. So anyway, there we go. Um, it does feel fine. It's not sticky, nothing. I'm not sure about the exfoliating process. I'll have to report back to you on that. But yeah, so far, feels pretty good. And yeah, I would do it again unless later something happens. So pardon the no makeup look. Just wanted to let you all see that. Taking a big risk here outside of my comfort zone. So be nice in the comments. <laughs> okay. And uh, we'll see what else we can get up to today. Okay, guys.